TT, you did it again! And this time, the biggest win of your career. How do these look today? Uh, I mean, I mean, you 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 came off the biggest win of your career, and you want to talk about your swag first? Of okay. course, I okay. have to. Let's let's talk about your swag. Courtesy of third day Ross. here, third different shades. Yeah, mm. these are Rosses. These are Ross. what you what you think? You know, listen, listen. I got you know I got a lot of love for Ross, but I think you're you're rocking them a lot hotter than than he is. They're crystal clear though. I can tell you that. I can see like twenty. 14, whatever, whatever the best vision is, yeah, that's what it, I got. It, it's getting nighttime here, but how hot you were today. I think, <laughs> I think you're going to need to keep these on okay. all, all the way through. What, what a what an exceptional match out there. I mean, Thank Jess you. has been one of the most consistent performers, especially at big events like this yep. for the last, the last couple of years. But you look really intentional with your strategy. Yep. Tell us a little bit about what exactly you wanted to apply out there today. Well, it was 100% mental for me. Um, I knew that. I didn't have anything to lose. You know, Jess is a three seed here. She's been playing really well. And, you know, I just felt super prepared. My coach and I were just talking before the match. And he was just like, you just have to trust the training. The same thing we talked about yesterday. Trust the things that you've been working on. Trust the hours that you've put in on and off the court. And just go play. And that's what I did. And I just tried to stay as free as possible and just really have a lot of fun out there. And, and I did. And as the match went on, I started to believe more and more and more and more. And then I, I really just carried that momentum throughout the match. You know, Taylor, you, you didn't have any mental let-ups all the way through. It really seemed one thing we were watching the match. The composure yeah. looked so good today. Even after you lost that second set, what, what was your what was your self-talk like? I, you know, because when Jess fights, you know, she's she's tough. Yeah. Um, honestly, I even in the second set, I didn't feel like I was out of it. I We had a lot of back and forth long deuce games on both of our serves, and it just came down to a couple of points here or there. And so I just told myself, like, it's a new set. Like, she played really well in the second. She came up with some really great shots, and that's what the best players in the world do. But if I dragged it into the third set, like, I would have had no chance. So I just was like, you know what? It was close. It only came down to a couple of points. Let it go, and let's keep playing. We still got a lot of tennis. It looked like there were some moments in the match where you were just completely in the zone. Yeah. There was a mo moment in the first set where I think it was like 13 points in a row. I mean, you won six games in a row against Jess mm -hmm. on a court like this. When, when you're in that zone, which is what all people who play sports dream of, yeah. what does that feel like? Honestly, it feels like things are moving in like slow motion. I felt like, you know, I was in complete control of what was happening on my side of the court. So that's, I mean, it's kind of indescribable. You just kind of have to experience it for yourself because everyone's is different, you know? But for me, I felt like I was just 100% in control of what I was doing. And I was super clear on like what I was trying to do. And no matter if I won the point, lost the point, I was just like, move on next one, next one. And I, I didn't think about what happened before and I wasn't thinking about what was happening or what could happen. I was just really just trying to stay present as much as I could. You look like you were thinking so much out there. Mm -hmm. And I know we joke about it, that, you know, uh, coming and working at uh, Tennis Channel, <laughs> that's the best way to go out there and just, you know, winning matches all day long. But doing that analyst work mm -hmm. and, and really sitting behind and, and getting into that sort of mode, mm -hmm. has that helped you out there as a tennis player? For sure. I mean, the the past two years doing Tennis Channel, honestly, it's it's been like kind of a indescribable experience because I've had to I had to take myself out of a player's mindset and put it in like an analyst like so I can't put myself in it you know as a player you want to say well I would have done this and I would have done that right. but you kind of have to pull yourself out of it and really look at what's happening what patterns what strategy is being implemented and so it really allowed me while I was away from the game to see it in a different way and so once I was doing that and having to talk about it I think it kind of seared it in my mind and just started seeing like consistent patterns that the best players in the world were doing and so seeing that, being able to go back to my team and my coach and talk about what I saw, and then we could implement it because it was no secret. Like, everybody was kind of doing the same thing. And if everyone's doing the same thing, it must be working. So <laughs> just, there's something that I was missing. So we just went back to the drawing board and just tried to implement and look at what the best players in the world were doing and how can I apply that to my game. I know you've I know you've just stepped off the court, but you're you're shooting up the rankings, 131 in the live rankings, biggest win of your career. Mm -hmm. I know I know everything you do is is for your kid. Yeah. So you know, have you, I know you just stepped off the court, but yeah. a little bit of reflection. Yeah, it was on such a big moment. It was actually crazy because when I was walking on the court, like I was kind of like thinking, and then the camera was in my face, and I was just like, "Say it!" So I was like, "Hi, AJ." <laughs> so it was like a moment where like I was kind of feeling a little bit of butterflies, and then I just wanted to say something, and so I was just like, "Hey," 
and they kind of made me relax a little bit and just just thinking about him in that moment just kind of made me settle down so um yeah everything i do and and these moments are so worth it because it just shows like the hard work that i'm doing is is paying off but i'm not gone for no reason and i'm making it count and, and it's worth for something and so like i hope that he's watching hi baby i love you so much and <laughs> you know it's um it's it's something that's really special for me and and i and i value and cherish these moments right here because this is what it's for this is what i was working for this is what i've been working for and um i'm not done yet i'm it's just the beginning well, you got you got you're playing for such a strong purpose out there. You're playing such inspired tennis. I mean, you got all of us, you know, <laughs> jumping up and down when you're when you're playing beautiful. So it's lovely to watch. Thank you. I have even better news what? than the fact that you won and you moved up to 131 in the live ranking. What? I got even better news. I, I just I feel bad doing this because your coach is right there don't do it, don't do off it, don't the do side it. of the set shh, right shh. now, John. I I, I really don't want to do this, but we have a. <laughs> fully executed, fully executed petition uh, for Taylor to be able to have some carbs. Oh, we now, put carbs and gelato. Well, that was Maddie. Maddie, Maddie Keys. Maddie signed three times, so Maddie, that's, that's that should count. That's how that passionate count she was. Six times. And John Coco signed, but then uh, she also signed as Ben Shelton. And then she said, you know, I go by Corey, too, so I signed as Corey. <laughs> so I just want you to know that's how much people love you. Oh, my God. You know? I told y'all, I'm taping this to my tennis bag. <laughs> I'm going to tape it to, like, this and just have people sign as I walk around the site. So if you see me, just I'll have a Sharpie and hit me up. <laughs> I, I still can't decide if you're better on the court or off the court, but, Titi, we, we love you so much. Thank you. We're, we're so happy you won, and uh, keep it rolling. Thank you guys so much. Jason, Paul, this mama's on fire <laughs> over here. Yeah. <laughs>